Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly and today I want to talk to you about all my different streams of income. <gasps> Yes, I have more than one. So it is said that the average millionaire has around seven different streams of income. So this begs a big question. <laughs> Am I a millionaire? <laughs> Not even close. I'm trying to have a $5,000 month. Millionaires would be making that in like an hour. But anyway, I wanted to talk about all the different streams of income that I have. So I have around four decent earning streams of income and then say another three really small streams of income, which I will grow over the next few years. So to go through the first high amount streams of income, this is what pays the bills. This is the money coming into my account, all that sort of stuff. So my first and highest paid stream of income is my full-time job. So I am a marketing coordinator for a potato company. I work 7.30 to 4 every day. That's around 40 hours a week. I make around $800 a week. That is a set in stone stream of income. That's not changing. That is guaranteed. And now we move on to the slightly more what's the word non-guaranteed income does that make sense self-made income mm, not really sure how to word this but the next highest stream of income for me is my freelance business so there are many different ways you can freelance you can go on fiverr you can go on upwork you can go on iRider. there are just so many different ways you can freelance you can be a ghost writer you can be a social media manager there is just endless opportunities. And right now I am doing quite well with my freelance business. I'd say I'm making anywhere between 300 to 800 a week. So sometimes it is on par with my full-time job. Sometimes it's a lot lower, but still a couple hundred extra dollars a week is a lot of extra money. That is pretty much going to pay my mortgage when I move out in about a month's time. So that absolutely just blows my mind that the amount of money you can make freelancing a week I could probably quit my job and go freelancing full-time not gonna do that because <laughs> I'm about to have a mortgage but it's really cool that that options there so the next stream of income for me is actually Skillshare so I have a couple classes up on my Skillshare I'll have the link down below where you can get a two week free trial, I wanna say, and you can watch my Skillshare classes for free. They're all about YouTube. I've got one about saving money. I've got one on small tips for YouTubers, but that actually earns me a somewhat decent income. I'd say I earn around 200 to $300 a month. Now, obviously that's not a huge amount of money, but that is almost one week's worth of mortgage covered purely from Skillshare. and. I haven't uploaded a video in months. It is pretty much passive income at this point. So my freelance business, I have to work, put in a lot of hours after my full-time job to make that money. But Skillshare, it's pretty much all passive because like I said, I <laughs> haven't touched it in months and it's still getting students and it's still bringing in a two to $300 income every month. So I would like to put more classes up on Skillshare eventually, obviously when I move out. I'll probably have a lot more time and room to do that. I would love to continue growing my Skillshare business, maybe up it to a few hundred more a month. If I could get 500 a month, that would be mind blowing. That would be absolutely in as a, that would be absolutely incredible. If you watch Ali Abdal, he does um, how much money he earns in a year, and he breaks it down for you, and he earns like 30 to 60 grand a month on Skillshare. That just blows my mind because two to three hundred dollars seems like a lot of money to me. So lastly, for my decent stream of income is YouTube. So this is actually quite a small revenue stream. I'd say I make around fifty to a hundred dollars a month on YouTube, and unfortunately, YouTube doesn't pay you out until you've earned a hundred dollars. So a lot of the times. I'm only getting a payment every second month, but I wanted to include this in my 
high streams of income because it's just so exciting getting a paycheck from Google and it's so satisfying. Like this video that you're watching right now, this is a stream of income for me. This is probably going to make me a couple of dollars. Yes, that's not much money, but it's something and it all adds up over time. So they are my main four streams of income, full-time job, freelance, Skillshare, and YouTube. Now, the one thing I did want to talk about this is all of these streams have the chance to grow to any amount of money per month except one of them. So there is a cap on my full-time job. I will not be able to earn more than 800 a week. That is my salary. I am working 40 hours a week. I am on $25 an hour. That's that. No matter what I do, I can't make more unless for some reason they decide to give me a raise, but <laughs> that's not going to happen. There is no way to up that stream of income. Whereas freelance, Skillshare and YouTube, there is zero cap on how much money I can earn a week or a day or a month. I could be earning 30k a month and some people do earn 30k a month freelancing. I think her name is Alex Fasulo. She had a interview with Graham Stephan. She makes like 35k a month freelance writing on Fiverr because there is no cap on how much money you can earn. There isn't a salary. You don't have a pay rate per hour. You can earn as much as you want. You could, I could come home from work and freelance for eight hours straight, sleep for two hours, get up, go back to my full-time job and make more money than I make at my full-time job. That would not be sustainable because your girl would be tired, but there is no cap. So I could work all weekend on freelance and instead of making 300 to 800 a week, I could be making 1500 to 3000 a week, which maybe one day that will be possible because I, I don't really know how to explain it just for the fact that three out of four of these income streams have no cap on how much money you can make. This video could blow up and get 2 million views. That would be amazing. Very high chance it won't, but this video could blow up, get 2 million views and make a couple of thousand dollars. I can't just do that in a day at my full-time job. Now, I do want to talk about the few other streams of income that I have, which are very low on the income side of things, but I could up that if I tried. So first is sponsorships. So sponsorships will give me a few hundred dollars every now and again. I've done maybe three sponsorships on my channel over my time of being on YouTube. The more my channel grows, the more opportunity this will give. And obviously the more your channel grows, the more money that comes in with sponsorships, the more brands want to pay you. But that is a stream of income for me. It just doesn't happen very often, but I would like it to happen more often one day if my channel does continue to grow. So after that is affiliate links. So currently I'm making pretty much zero dollars on affiliate links, but I don't really market it much. So affiliate links is, I believe in all of my YouTube videos, I have a section where you can shop this video and you can buy my editing glasses and my running shoes and stuff like that. And on my last video, where I bought a new monitor, I linked it down below. So if you were to click on those links and then purchase that item, I would get a small commission, say two to 10% of the sale. And some people will make thousands of dollars through affiliate links. If you're a big YouTube channel, you can make a lot of money through affiliate links. So currently I'm basically making zero. They're just sitting in my bio. And if you want to click it. That's awesome. But I don't really market it, which I should probably do more because there is potential to grow that. And lastly, the seventh stream of income. Yeah, seven streams. Why am I not a millionaire? <laughs> I'm not too sure either, but that is dividends. <laughs> yes, we're a finance guru. So 
I use the app Raise, which is a micro investing app. Again, I have a link down below, which if you sign up through that link, you get $5 deposited into your Raise account, which is exactly how I got started. I clicked someone's link and I got $5 and I was so excited, but I make dividends. Now let me open my Raise account real quick. Now I'm not making much dividend because like I said, <laughs> your girl ain't a millionaire. I currently have $592 invested into my Raise account. And in out of that $592, I have made $6.50 in dividends. <gasps> Ooh and $67 in market returns. So obviously that is not much money, but if I continued investing and got up to the tens of thousands of dollars, you can be earning a lot of money through dividends and market returns and all that stuff. And that is something that I would like to get more into as my income grows. So if I continue growing my freelance business and my Skillshare and my YouTube, I will have more disposable income which I could put into other passive streams of income and sources and put into dividends. Does that make sense? I'm not really too sure. Now lastly, I wanted to talk about two streams of income which I would like to grow or start at some point in my life and number eight is more photography jobs because I love photography. I'm a big fan of portrait photography and I just don't do it enough. I haven't done it in a long time. Obviously, hi, we've been in a pandemic, understandable. You can't really just go out and meet with people and have a photo shoot, but I think I'm an okay photographer and I would like to utilize those skills and I may as well get paid for it and do photo shoots for people. So that is a stream of income that I could grow. And lastly is products and courses. So if I was to release merch or something fun like that, or a course on how to grow a freelance business or something like that, I just find that stuff fascinating. And I love seeing other people's courses and helping other people learn how to do things. So products and courses would be a great way to earn passive income, actually, because you only need to create the course or your or presets or something like that once. And then once they're for sale, it's just passive income and you just have to manage the customer service side of things. So those are all my streams of income. Not much has changed since the last time I filmed this video besides the freelance stuff. So I've only been doing that for probably about a month and a half and it's absolutely blowing my mind how much money I can make a week. Like I said, you're so used to full-time work where you have a cap on how much money you make. There's no way to make more than what you get paid. Whereas if you have different streams of income like freelance and YouTube, there is no cap on the amount of money you can make. I could work for 10 hours as soon as I finished recording this video on my freelance business and I could get a bunch of new clients and I could make a thousand bucks. It's pretty, pretty unlikely, but I could. <laughs> Maybe next time I do this video, I will be a millionaire. Ladies and gentlemen, how exciting. But those are all of my streams of income. I think it is super important to diversify, not have all your eggs in one basket, as people say, because if the last year and a half has taught us anything, <laughs> full-time work can be gone just like that. I could be fired tomorrow. I really hope I'm not, but I could be fired tomorrow. There's nothing stopping my employer from doing that. And then all of a sudden I would have zero money coming in. I would lose my house immediately and that's that. But if I were to lose my house, lose my house. Oh, I don't want to lose my house. Let's not manifest that into the world. If I was to lose my job tomorrow, I would be able to continue paying my mortgage with all my other streams of income because I am making enough money from other areas of my life, from a freelance and a skip. You get the point. I really wanted to share this with you. I think it's important to be open and honest about money, have a little chat about how you can earn more money and 
Yeah, let me know if you have multiple streams of income. If you want to have multiple streams of income, let me know how you earn your money. Is it just full-time work? Is it online? Let me know. I'm curious. I'd love to know that sort of stuff. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I put out new videos every few days. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.